Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and welcome back to another second channel video. This is an episode of series where we talk about geography and the world and stuff. And today I'm going to be doing that by talking about language and indeed how it's distributed around the world. Because what is the most spoken language in the world? You're either going to answer English or maybe Mandarin or maybe Spanish, but the truth is there is a handy dandy Wikipedia page that is here to answer that the most spoken language in the world is Mandarin Chinese with 918 million speakers, which is about 11.922% of the world population. And obviously it goes about saying that it's really strange for us to actually that about one in nine people on this planet Earth uh, are actually speaking Mandarin Chinese and are almost uh, all of which are contained within one political entity. Um, but what's also interesting is like I clearly made a mistake of going with native speakers when clearly you need to also include the second language speakers. When you do that, the most widely spoken language is English with 1.3 billion people speaking it. Then there's Mandarin Chinese with 1.2 billion people, uh, 1.12 billion people speaking it once you include second language speakers, and then there's Hindi, Spanish, and Standard Arabic, all of which you have to add together before you get 50% of the world population, which can understand you if you speak a language. Which is crazy to me just how much we still need languages to speak to people, because I've said it before, I'll say it again, I think language is one of the biggest things that we could or should improve on, um, because honestly, when it comes to speaking to people, there are three reasons you can't speak to someone. One is that they're in a state where they're just not receptive to ideas, maybe they're angry, or you know, maybe they just are are not willing to have a conversation with you. Two, is there a raccoon? And three, is the fact that they are speaking an entirely different language. There is no English in their speech and you don't have their language. And so what are you gonna do about that? That's where today's video sponsor comes in, Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is a great way to learn languages. You've probably heard about them in some form. And uh, I figured to test this out, I would learn uh, the language of Dutch. Because my longest standing second channel editor is Kobe and he's from Belgium. And if you don't know, in Belgium they speak Dutch as well as French, as well as German, as well as, you know, usually English across most of it. But if I want to communicate with my editor, right now we use confusing hand signals and it's really hard, but you know what the sponsor of today's video will have you do? Learn a language. And so today, let's learn some Dutch at the beginner level so I can speak to my editor in a real way. It's actually pretty cool that they uh, really try to work out what your goal is and they'll tailor the lesson that way. There's so many different ways to learn a language and I feel like Rosetta Stone uh, is apparently a good way of combining those. Hello. Hello. Un meisje. Un meisje. Un jonge. Un jonge. Un jonge. De jonge drinkt. 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 Het meisje eet. Het meisje eet. Een man. You know, it's Een good man. enough. I, I, I know how to say it, uh, spell it at least, even if I can't say it. De man eet. De man eet. Het meisje drinkt. See, it's pretty cool that it actually like gives you like some visual examples. Het it teaches eet. you in different ways. Um, I think that was het meisje drinkt. No, it was het meisje eet. Het meisje eet. I'm dumb. De man drinkt. And then the man and drink. It's, you know, you learn all sorts of Dutch uh, by learning this way, huh? Okay, so this is, this is the vrouwen because there's multiple women. See, I know my vrouwen. De vrouwen eten. De jongen leest. De jongen leest. And then that's young and list. No, listen. Different vowels. The youngers list. And now I'm learning about vowels. See, now I can communicate with my editor because I finally started learning things like how to point to a woman and saying she is the eating. Mannen rennen. And so yeah, it's an incredibly useful tool that can teach you all sorts of uh, you know different parts of all sorts of different languages. Because by the way, it's not just Dutch that you can learn on the service. You can learn about Chinese or Tagalog, or you can learn all sorts of different languages that exist around the world, including my favorite, English American. I think someday we should try and learn English American at a high level just to truly understand people better. If you'd like to get Rosetta Stone for yourself and go through these wonderful exercises, you can go to tryrosettastone.com slash ibx2cat and you can get the gift 
of languages. And here's the even better thing, there is a 30 day money back guarantee because they want 100% satisfaction. And uh, yeah, I, I had satisfaction of my learning Dutch. And uh, also let me know if you'd like to see me learn some languages <laughs> more sometime. I found that to be pretty fun. Anyway, with that said, let's talk about languages around the world. Because like I mentioned, you have to add the five biggest languages together, 1.3 billion, then like 1.4 2.45 billion, about 3 billion, 3.5, 3.8 billion people. After you, you have to get the five biggest languages together. But what's really interesting to me is when you look at those five languages on a map, this is the uh, the map of people who speak English somewhere around the world. As you can see, there's it's, it's official here, 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 here. But it's also a regional language in some places. It's widely spoken in others. And it adds to a very large pool of people speaking English, even before you consider that, of course, like on the internet, a lot of people need to speak English. I mean, if we go to my YouTube statistics, should we do that midway through the video? You know what? Who's gonna stop me? If we go to my YouTube statistics, wow, look, look, look how I made videos and then money came in. Okay, that's not the point here today, though. If we go to audience, I want to say, you can see how lots of the viewers of my videos, despite this being an English language video, are 11% of my viewers are from Germany, which, fun fact, as you can see from the fact that Germany does not show up on any of these maps, Germany does not speak as their default language any of the top five spoken languages in the world. In fact, German, on this long list of uh, languages by uh, native speakers, you can see how German is actually pretty far down here. We have to go all the way to 16th most in the world. Um, and because they speak the 16th most spoken language in the world, instead, they learn English maybe by watching two cat videos, or maybe they learn English to watch these videos. I'm, I'm gonna stop flattering myself now. But isn't that interesting that like, yeah, even English, the language of the world in terms of business and entertainment and all these other sorts of things, is only covering this far. What's shocking to me though is Mandarin. This is the only place in the world where Mandarin is an official language. Technically, it's in two places because there's Singapore. And technically, I would argue Taiwan makes free. I'd argue Hong Kong makes whatever, but we're not going to dive into that. Uh, you can see how, like, uh, Mandarin is, uh, in fact, a tiny corner of the world. It just turns out to be a very densely populated corner of the world. Then we go to third, Spanish. And you can see the same kind of thing, like, with English, where it's widely spoken in the US. And it really is, by the way. I One of the things that is very different about the UK and the US is, like, over here, you only see a second language in French sometimes as like, a, ooh, we're fancy, we let other people speak the language, wow. Uh, look, you know, like um, fancy products will have the French uh, on there sometimes. Um, whereas uh, Spanish in America is just like, yeah, there are a ton of people in the United States that have no English language knowledge. You know, it's kind of the reverse situation of like people living in Germany, you know, again, I would like to remind you, it's not just Germany. According to this stat right here, there are people from the Netherlands, hey, did you like my Dutch Netherlands people uh, from Poland, etc., who live in countries where there is no English day-to-day -day interaction, but yet can understand English well enough to understand these videos? And there are people living in the United States, a English language country, who do not like again their, their job doesn't I mean they doesn't require much English. You know maybe it's a manual-based job, and uh, as a result, Eng like Spanish is just widespread as you need to go English Spanish. Or maybe, you know, a fifth of the population can't access the services they need. It's wild to me as a someone from the UK. Anyway, so this, this is the map of uh, Spanish speakers. This is the map of um, Hindi speakers, the fourth biggest language, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, Hindi. It's third on this one, actually. Um, so that's really interesting to me that, like, there's 253 million, 58 million second language Hindi speakers. And according to this map, they're almost all also in India because I guess India has such language diversity. Um, so that's that's very interesting too. And then finally, we have the map of Arabic, which, like, as far as I'm concerned, if you were to guess, if you didn't know anything about planet Earth and population density, you would assume this is the most spoken language. Then you'd assume probably this, right? Like, okay, wow, look at all those countries using uh, Arabic as their official language. Plus, it's widely spoken here. Also, is, is all of these languages widely spoken in Indonesia? Like, it feels like they are, right? Okay, no, it's only two of them. I'm, <laughs> I'm being silly. Anyway, you get the point that, like, okay, this looks like it's gonna be the fifth most. This looks like it's the fourth. Actually, wait, I say this is the fifth, this is the fourth, this is the third, this is the second, and this is the first. But actually, that's entirely out of order because geography and people do not line up. I say this every video. I think it's important that people uh, remember this. And uh, yeah, it's one of those important facts. Also, just as a fun fact, I wanted to show off, but like, because these are five separate maps, right? It's kind of annoying that we have to go through five separate whole things. Um, the interesting thing about this is I tried to look up maps of the world that showed the languages of the world in a nice, easy way. Here is the language map of the world that is confusing to- ignoring the lack of key on this map, um, there's also just like, it covers language families, so Germanic is all the same, and like, 
Is is Germanic not spoken in these parts of Australia, for example? Like, I guess maybe there's a high enough Aboriginal population. So it seems kind of weird not to use national borders in some ways. And so this is the first map I found that used national borders to describe where languages are spoken. Wow, it has all of the five I mentioned, plus Russian for some reason. And this is... The, I, I feel like I could spend an entire video just going over bad maps like this one. But just... Okay, what do you spot that's wrong with this map? Give it, give it a few seconds. So, first of all, the only country that is subdivided into regions is Canada, where there is English-speaking Canada and French Canada. I'd say French Canada might be the most widely known about second language area in the world. I guess probably Canadians also have to do the whole English-French thing, but not to be fancy, but to be like, ah, the legal requirements. Anyway, um... I didn't realize that till thinking about this. I, I don't think about French Canada a lot. I would rather, I'm not gonna make jokes about French Canada, but you get the point. Uh, French Canada is divided like that, but if you look at Switzerland and you look at Belgium, they're not subdivided. I guess they're tiny countries, but then I'm looking at the French map and I'm like, wait, why is Romania, this is Romania right here, if you want me to confirm on a regular map, this is, this is Romania, a, a country that speaks Romanian. They base their constitution on the French, and they do like France to some extent, but Fr and French is to some degree a second language in that country, but it's not the, it's not the, it's not the, the, the most dominant language by any stretch of the imagination, um, and so really kind of thick. Also, then there's Albania and Montenegro as French language countries. Eh, I, I don't know how you would even assume that one. Like, I can understand why Russian, if you look right here, Russian covers not only Russia, but also Belarus. Okay, sure. Also Ukraine. Okay. Kazakhstan. Yeah. But then Mongolia, the, you know, T Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Georgia, Armenia, uh, Latvia. You know, like, are there that many Latvian, uh, Russian speakers in Latvia? I mean, enough to have their own passport, but they're not dominant. And so, yeah, I guess if you said, like, do parts of the world speak these languages in large quantities? But if so, I would argue that English speaking is more common in Sweden than Russian speaking is in Latvia. Um, then if we look around the rest of this here, it just gets worse. Like, okay, so um, we've got Spanish speaking all around here. Okay, that's a decent enough job we've done there. We've got Africa, which is broadly, you know, there's some countries including the French that probably shouldn't be there. There's, there's some like... English countries that aren't all the way English, but you know, whatever. This map uh, pales in comparison to this one I found on Vox. I must be missing some hilarious context on this. What, is this the mo like again, this is showing languages around the world. I'm guessing it's trying to show the most spoken language, but only using the top 28 languages or something. Why is Mexico English? Why is Peru English? Like it's not as if Spanish doesn't exist because Argentina and Venezuela are Spanish. But Colombia is English? <laughs> okay, all of Africa is English besides uh, Dr. Congo and uh, Morocco and uh, Libya, I think that is. Um, Algeria, sorry, obviously. Um, and it's like, okay, that's a bit of a strange one. Um, obviously, we've got Chinese covering China. That makes some sense, I guess. And then we've got... Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, no, wait. That, that's the worst part of this map, right? This map says Mandarin Chinese is the widely spoken language in Thailand. Like, you don't even need to go to Thailand to know that that's functionally not accurate. Also, like, you know, I just... There's there's so many things wrong with it. So, like, French in Thai, v Vietnam. I don't know why French isn't more common in Vietnam. Like, one of the best foods in Vietnam is a banh mi, right? A French baguette, but with Vietnamese fillings. And so, like, whatever, you know, it's it's a broken map. This map right here, I don't even... I can't understand a context that would make this make sense, so I'll just pass it. Then I found this map, and it's just like, what is... <laughs> <laughs> what am I meant to take from this? What am I learning from looking at this map? Besides, like, it's it's the broad language families, right? But Indo-European is just widespread, and then there's Afro-Asiatic, but there's, like, what, are, what I, I just don't even know. I, I, I mean, it, it is, it's useful to remember the Indo-European languages, which is the family root for everyone, every language in Europe besides Hungary and Finland. Uh, it, it's called Indo-European because it's, like, from in, in, in it's it's like from India, right? Like the it's like a lot of India. India actually, um, there's a lot of commonalities with Europeans uh, in most of India, and like that's why if you look at the people in between, you know, it's kind of like there's a direct bridge of like ethnicities in a way you don't see when you go to other continents. Weird little fact. Um, speaking of weird facts, my point with this video was meant to just be. It is near impossible to show which languages dominate the Earth. And it's really interesting to kind of uh, point out that even all five of these maps combined still only cover about half of the world population. And that, yeah, we still don't really speak the same languages. I would argue that because we don't speak the same languages and we can't communicate 
directly. I mean, our leaders can communicate, but we cannot. Uh, the humans haven't really spread across the globe. We're still lots of concentrated little sects of humans. I would argue animals have done it better, and that's why I'm combining this video about languages with a segment about which animals have gone where. Because did you know, this is a map of termites around the world. Um, I, I guess this is a better map of termites to show, like, contiguous areas. Uh, did you know termites are something, despite covering so much of the world, do not exist in England. I mean, there's always threats that it's not going to be for much longer. This is a this is a website from a uh, th this is an American website that sells pest control targeted at termites. So keep that in mind. However, um, there there have been termites found here and there, but the UK put so much money into destroying termites when they are uh, found that the UK, if you look back at this map right here, this very terrible map, I'm going to level you, uh, has not been taken by termites. So you know, just saying. Pretty, pretty cool fact. I, uh, I then decided to look up where raccoons are found in the world, because you know, how good are raccoons doing? Honestly, I would argue raccoons are doing a better job at spreading their language than every language outside this top five. Like, here's the spread of Hindi speakers. Here is the spread. See, it seems, it seems mean to say when we use a, okay, we have to, we have to say, here is the spread of Spanish speakers, and here is the spread of raccoons. No, it's not. Here is the spread of raccoons. And it's like, it's not that far apart. It's not that far apart. And then, just for fun, I was like, okay, here is the uh, global rat distribution map. I, I, I'd always suspected that rats were very widespread around the world. But my god, have they covered everywhere. I'm sure you all know the fun fact by now of like, Alberta is the Canadian province which puts so much effort and money into destroying rats when they find them. And so they're like the one place on earth that doesn't actually have rats by like, choice. Whereas, like, Iceland I imagine even Iceland, like, they're going to come on ships if they're not careful, so Iceland has to be careful. And other, besides Iceland, the one Canadian province, parts of Alaska, the weird territories that no one lives in in Canada, Greenland, and northern Russia, it's just Antarctica, which is shocking to me. Like, you, you know, like, looking at all these tiny islands, like, all of them have rats. Apparently so. All of them have rats. Rats are doing a better job. I bet all these rats can speak to each other too. Is that true? You tell me, internet. I, I, I don't actually know. But um, for now, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it encourages you to realize that even though speaking of the same language was my dream in the world, wouldn't it be great if we could all speak English? Sometimes you need a second language, and that's where today's video sponsor comes in. Uh, tr Rosetta Stone. Try Rosetta Stone now. Especially if you are from... Uh, if, if you're from, uh, the United States, Canada, uh, the United Kingdom, or Australia, or India. I wonder why I can click on India, but I can't click on... You're all seeing this, right? Why is India clickable? Why can I see detailed stats about India, but I can't about other countries? I'm, like, genuinely confused by that. Anyway, um, yeah, do you wanna, do you wanna see other fun facts? Let me, facts, let me know in the future. Thank you uh, to the sponsor of this video for paying me to do dumb things like this. And if you want to see dumb things, the Patreon is still in existence. Um, just a reminder, you know, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, so uh, you guys fund the channel so we can pay for the, the quality to improve. No, 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 no. I see Patreon as an additional revenue source. Would you like to give me money so that I have money? You can do it by going over there. Also, as a fun fact, I didn't know this until I looked into it. Um, of, of the earnings you get from Patreon, it actually gives you a full breakdown of how much you lose. So we had the best month ever. So thank you very much to everyone who joined. I think, I'm going to be honest with you, I think most of you joined because you wanted to learn about the world's skinniest country where we are on the tangent about breasts, uh, if I'm being honest with you. But I'll, I'll forgive you for now on that one. Uh, if we look through this, you can see that like, okay, um, the uh, like if, if you look at the fees and the platform fees, it's about 10% you lose off Patreon income, which is actually pretty good when you consider that on YouTube, it's 45%. And so, uh, yeah, it's the most effective way to give. I, I feel like there should be more effective ways on the internet that you can just give money to someone without the steps in between. But as we all know, platforms exist. You're watching this video on a platform. Thank you for doing so. I'll use this so that when I go later and I watch videos on platform, we can we can all go to Denmark together one day. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, if I was going to go to Denmark, you know what I'd do? I'd probably learn a language. You know, learn Dutch to go to Denmark. And then let me know how it goes when you're in Denmark. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Wait, good. Good bike. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 this is why Second Channel don't care.